Looking at American beech here, this is a very common native tree to the eastern woodlands. It's one of the most dominant trees in older forests. It's very shade tolerant, so it's able to uh, able to survive for a long time in the shade of other trees. Uh, when it finds its chance for light, it'll shoot right up, and it spreads by seed and root suckers. But before we get into that, let's take a look here at the leaves so everyone can be clear on how to identify beech. The leaves are really, really easy, I think. Straight veins, parallel lines, and each line ends in a little tip on the edge of the leaf. Um, the other thing that's really easy to identify on beech is the buds. Now this is summertime, so it's hard to find the buds, but in the winter, they're very prominent. You can see them just, just starting here to form and I don't know if you can see that. They'll be big, long spears in the winter. They're actually kind of pokey. Um, so straight, straight veins ending in a point. And beaches have gray bark. Let's see if you can see some of the bark on these big guys back there. Some people think the beach bark looks like elephant legs. And I think that's kind of true. Uh, but usually beaches are diseased. They get this disease called beach bark disease that makes their bark all bumpy and messed up. And beaches do make beech nuts. Beech nuts are delicious. There's a whole bunch in this tree right here. They're pretty hard to find. Uh, they are irregular croppers. Uh, beaches will fruit every other year, every other three years, sometimes every seven years. I don't know. Can you see the nuts up there? Those little spiky burrs? I got one here in my hand. It's uh, July right now, so they're not ripe yet. Oh, this camera is not really focusing. Let's see. Let's see if that helps. I had it zoomed in. All right. There's the beech nut in the husk. And what you do if you're able to gather these. Uh, you want to get them when they're ripe. This is way too early right now. But you'll just split this thing open. And there's these triangles inside. And the triangles come right out of the husk. Just with your fingers. And then that is the shell. Inside there is the kernel. And it tastes kind of like a pine nut. But uh, almost better. Just a delicious oily nut. Beech nuts by weight are 80% oil. Uh, there's nothing inside there right now. It's too early. It's only July. I usually gather these September, October if I'm lucky enough to find a patch. And beaches, like I said, they'll spread by those seeds and then they'll also spread clonally by root suckers. So all these stems right here are actually root suckers coming off of those two uh, trees in the back there. And beaches will just keep marching outward like that for a long way and they'll form great big thickets. If you cut beech trees down, they'll sucker even harder and make huge thickets. And because of that beech bark disease, the wood gets messed up and they'll make lots and lots of root suckers when they get diseased. And it just uh, really changes the understory of a forest. And instead of all these different types of seedlings, you can get a lot of, just a lot of beech thicket, which I don't mind and a lot of wildlife enjoys. But uh, a lot of foresters and lumbermen, they're not, not too excited about it, about the lack of diversity that's caused by American beech. But it is a great tree for, for animals to find cover and shelter and uh, occasionally lots of food. And the wood is really great firewood. It's very hard and dense. But that's American beech. I've eaten a lot of beech nuts in my life. I've carved a lot of beech wood. I love these trees and the cool thing about them is you can cut them over and over and over. So if you just need a source of carbon, fuel, biochar, charcoal, whatever you're doing with carbon, beech is an excellent, excellent tree. It'll grow in the sun or the shade and just keep producing wood forever and ever or at least for my whole life. Thanks beech trees.